Well, I've been every Wednesday and Sunday, um, Cynthia, Steve and myself, we have Zoom chats. Sometimes they're very silly to Zoom chats. Sometimes somebody says something and I'll st step in with some comment which has us all absolutely cracked up laughing. We, we love it, it's great. It's, uh, especially during the last year. We haven't been doing it for a, for a year yet, but it gives us some really nice light relief. So with the technologies we've got nowadays, we are very, very lucky. But during the serious conversations, and there are a few, with a smattering of humour thrown in, we talk about what we want to do when we can yeah, really start exploring properly. We've recently done one walk together, which was this last Tuesday just gone. And we've got quite a lot of walks planned um, that we want to do. And hopefully it will take in some points of interest along the way. Um, sometimes they, they, they're not. They'll perhaps just be a river walk or a woodland walk. But whenever you know we do our walks, I always try and tell you what we're seeing as we go round. Um, we've got one walk planned as a collaboration with uh, a friend of mine. He's got a series of videos he wants to bring out and he's asked me to take part and go out and make a film for him, for his channel and mine, which I thought was very kind of him to offer me that chance. But I will leave that for him to make the announcement when he's ready to. So that's something else to look forward to. I want to try and keep exploring different ways of bringing content to you, to all my regular followers and subscribers to my YouTube channel. So, if you, um, you know, you watch the videos, please click the like button, because that's very important, and your comments are always welcome. Um, positive comments mostly, please, but if you've got a comment and you want to make a suggestion about how I can improve things, by all means say so. Um, if I put a piece of music in and you think it's a bit too loud, just, just say so. If we don't know exactly what you want and how you like to s visually see things or hear things, then, you know, if we're just, I'm just putting up what I want to put up. <clears throat> if anybody out there plays music, makes music, writes music, and you want to have a piece of music added to one of my videos. Something um, acoustic, uh, from an acoustic guitar, lead guitar, something very melodic. Varying lengths of music is useful. One of my friends, Andrew Norris, who lives in Croatia um, has given me some pieces of music and I credit him, credit, I put a credit to him at the end of all my videos when I've used his music. So I put a piece of this music at the start and at the end and I may put some music in between. 
So I'm always keen to use content from other people. So please bring it forward and let's see what we can create together. If you've got friends out there that you think might like to watch the videos, the country walks, the walks around churchyards, walks around churches when we're allowed to go back into them, please give them my um, YouTube address, Kevin's Rambles. I will put the, the ULR on the video at the end, um, and if you want to copy that, then that's brilliant. I'd like to get more subscribers, 261 at the moment, so if we can boost those numbers that's great. But to my left hand side, I've got the River Rother. I'm actually doing this walk, this part of the walk, back to front. I normally do it the other way. I'm on the river ground at Cowdery. Anyway, I'm heading around this way. And just over there is the ruins. And then I do a loop around the polo fields and then I'll start heading for home. Well, I'm now looping around the polo fields and there's clear evidence that they are in full swing now getting ready for the polo seasons to start because all the polo fields <coughs> the lawns polo fields here which are across here the river ground which i've just walked around the grass is all being cut they've done some additional drainage here as well and they've, they had, whether they had a leak there or not, I don't know. But they've, they've dug this culvert out, which I had showed in another video, but the flow of water that's coming through there is quite incredible. Um, and it doesn't slow down, it's amazing. So whether these are natural springs that are coming in from underneath these polo grounds, I don't know. But that water is always constantly flowing at the same sort of right the wind has picked up a little bit over the last half an hour and it is quite cold it's quite a cold breeze I couldn't get a cup of coffee earlier on because the cafe was shut but it is open now so I might do a swing up to there get a coffee and then head for home, but we'll see. Well, I've got my coffee. I did a little bit of a loop round to get the coffee. Actually, very welcome because it is, the temperature is definitely dropping, which is what they predicted it would do. Um, I don't know, it's probably dropped one or two degrees since I left home this morning which is uh, a bit worrying because they reckon, well they did say that tomorrow was going to be the coldest day, but according to the forecast that I've seen, it's going to be about 12 degrees. Oh, the sun's just come out, which is lovely. It's not very warm, the wind is cold. But I'm now walking along Midhurst Causeway, and this was where I will be ending my video for today as I walk towards the town of Midhurst in West Sussex. I can see that the volunteers are out again on the island which separates the car park road from the main road going through the town and according to the the one ton bags they've got there it looks as if they've full, already filled a lot of them but they are responsible for the upkeep of the island I don't think it's specifically a council project um, but you've got uh, what have we got there two four six seven eight eight volunteers out and these are the same volunteers that I saw 
last week that was work, doing their bits along they're tidying up along Dodsley Lane going up towards Esbourne but it's you know community spirit was what it's all about very important and I do know that the residents appreciate it because there's often comments on Facebook thanking them for all the hard work they're doing so anyway this is Kevin saying bye bye and I'll see you on the next one coffee in hand don't forget to follow like and subscribe to Kevin's rambles and I'll catch you on the next one bye bye for now bye Hello, this is Kevin thanks very much for watching the video if you've enjoyed what you've seen follow like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and that would be great thanks very much bye bye bye